Coleslaw is a recipe that we all adore and it's made so easily with this incredible attachment. This is the slicer shredder attachment and it does a variety of slices and shredders and gratings and all different sorts of consistencies. It comes with three drums. There's a slicing drum, the medium drum and the coarse drum. And there's an additional set of drums that are great for fine shredding, there's julienning and pureeing. And after the coleslaw, I'm going to show you how to make the best hazelnut meal. What will I use? I think I'll use the Tilt Head Mixer. All of the attachments are very, very simple to pop on. I need to uh, release this little thumb screw, take off the cover and pop that somewhere safe. I'm going to tilt the head back actually. Remove my bowl. With the attachment, pop it in and have a little wiggle until you can feel it securely set in and firmly tighten that screw. To begin the coleslaw, I'm actually going to start doing some slicing. So taking the drum, setting it in, and you'll feel that it just locks in for you. Pop the cover on and we're ready to go. Now depending on how you feel, you could slice the coleslaw on speed 2, 4, 6 or even 8. It's completely up to you and how quickly you want it to slice through the attachment. The marvellous thing about using the slicer shredder is that it's continuous. So if you need to do a large amount or a small amount, it's very, very simple. Now with the pusher, you're just using it to gently push the coleslaw or the cabbage down into the attachment. Now the nicest thing about the drums is that they're actually not sharp on the inside. So that allows you to gently help any food come free from the attachment. Now to vary the texture, I think I'd like to shred the carrot, but I might also slice some celery. If you'd like to change the drum, simply remove like so and mm, I think this one pop that in pop that on and there's my carrot At the end of the coleslaw, I'm going to set that to the side, remove the attachment, pop that over here. I'll just pop this little cover back on. Now for the coleslaw dressing, it's super handy to have a second bowl 
And I think the little three litre bowl would be fantastic. The dressing is made on a mayonnaise base using the whisk and it has some delicious other flavours added to it. There's sultanas and hazelnut. The texture combined through the lovely coleslaw is wonderful. But for the full recipe, have a look on the KitchenAid website. Just quickly, I'd like to show you how the fine drum beautifully grates fresh either hazelnut, pecan, macadamia or almond meal. Take the fine shredding drum, pop it in, secure, attach it to the stand mixer, have a little wiggle of the attachment until you feel it lock in and then secure the little thumb screw on the side. Hazelnuts. An additional bowl to collect the nuts and wait till you see this. the flavour and texture to your cakes, biscuits and slices using fresh meal is just superb. You'll never want to buy packaged almond or hazelnut meal ever again. Now to put the coleslaw together for you, I have a bowl here with some cabbage leaves in it which looks really pretty and the dressing I'll add some dressing to the coleslaw with dressings it's a nice idea to keep it in mind to dress them not drown them toss that well And I'm going to pile the coleslaw into the leaves. It smells so fresh and the colours are vibrant. If you'd like a little bit of extra dressing, you could drizzle some over the top. some fresh herbs what a lovely salad for the full recipe have a look at the KitchenAid website